Hello everyone. I got to meet Brie Larson at a Comic-Con event in San Antonio, Texas this last weekend and I just wanted to share my experience and how it went and any uh, tips for meeting celebrities at a uh, Comic-Con. So I'm just gonna start from beginning to end of how it went and yeah, let's get started. And I just want to say that before I get started, this is not a negative video about Brie Larson at all. This is a positive video about her. And if you're looking for a negative video of Brie Larson, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I had posted in a uh, Marvel Facebook uh, fan group maybe a month or two ago about how I could write a letter to Brie Larson because I had been having anxiety about uh, Captain Marvel 2, which is titled The Marvels. Um, I had anxiety about um, her role in the movie and because I saw an interview of her at D23 from last year that said, uh, where she said that she didn't know how much longer she was going to be playing Captain Marvel, and um, it was kind of heartbreaking for me to hear that. So I had wanted to write her a letter saying, you know, please keep playing Captain Marvel. Don't give up on her. Um, unfortunately, I didn't, but that's a story for another time. Um, anyways, uh, luckily someone in the group had said to me, well, why don't you go to this Comic-Con in Texas? It's in July. Um, she's doing uh, photo ops and autographs there, and you can meet her there. And I was like, yeah, like I gotta go. I gotta do it. I gotta go meet her. Um, and I had been wanting to go to Texas for a while, so that worked out perfectly. So fast forward to the day of the event. No, fast forward to a day or two before the event. Um, I was in my hotel room in Texas going over... Um, what I thought was my uh, photo op uh, details, like the photo, the details of the photo op and all, all that stuff. So I actually accidentally purchased a autograph from her and I thought it included both the autograph and a photo op, but it was just the autograph. So they sell an autograph and a photo op separately. So I didn't really know that. I thought it was combined, but they do it separately. Um, so I managed to buy a photo op for the same day that I had the ticket for and the uh, autograph for. Uh, so I got lucky I was able to do both the same day because tickets were sold out for the next day. Um, however, they still had photo ops available, just not the general admission tickets. So when you're buying tickets for um, a celebrity meet or photo op or uh, autograph, be very careful and make sure that you're getting exactly what you want, um, you know, in terms of wanting an autograph or a photo op. Um, I kind of wanted both. Um, however, I definitely wanted a photo with her versus an autograph, but I'm very glad I did both because I will get to that in a minute. So fast forward to the day of the convention. I got there maybe an hour late, um, which I was kind of lucky to do. Uh, they didn't really have the, uh, the time for my photo op uh, posted anywhere online. It was just at the convention um, where it said the times of the photo op. So my autograph was before the photo op and then my photo op was after and there was about a 40 minute difference. So I got to the convention. It was it was a cool convention too. It was, uh, it was called a Superhero Comic Con and Car Show. So I had never been to an event like this where they did both, uh, you know, comic co a Comic Con and then a car show. It was really cool to see the car show. They had a whole different building where it was just cars and all those cars were like cars from uh, movies and TV shows. Like they had the Blues Brothers car, they had the Ghostbusters car of course, they had cars like, they had a car like Deadpool, a Deadpool car 
that was a Camaro and then a Wonder Woman car. So just kind of like random things they kind of made up because Deadpool doesn't really have his own car in the movies. I mean, he kind of does, but not like a Camaro because this had Deadpool all, all over it, like a whole print of Deadpool. But anyways, it was a cool event. Very small. I was surprised, um, but it was still a pretty cool event. So luckily I was walking around, had a lot of time to kill. Um, and then at four o'clock I went to do my autograph. So I was in line. Um, there were a few ladies that came up to me working the event and they were asking me how I wanted my autograph. And they offered me, I swear they offered me three options. They said, do you want her signature or do you want it personalized? And there was another one, but I don't remember what it was. So I said, I definitely want it personalized. So uh, I was waiting and they had all the celebrities behind these uh, curtains, I guess you could say. Kind of like, um, not like a tent, but just more so curtains. They, they were kind of hiding them behind um, curtains because I think people like try and take selfies from a distance going like, oh, you know, I'm in the same room as Brie Larson, which is kind of stupid that people do. Cause uh, you know, like what? Who cares if you're if you're not doing a photo op? Who cares if you're in the same room as her? You know, or another celebrity? Who cares? It's not as there's not much to brag about. Um, that's just my opinion. <laughs> um, so they had the, all the celebrities like in a tent or behind curtains, and so I was in line. There were these two girls behind me. Um, and they were saying like, oh, we're so nervous, we're so nervous. And I was like, oh, don't worry, I'm nervous too. Um, and one of them said like, oh, we've been practicing all day uh, what to say to Brie. And I was like, oh, what are, what are you going to say to her? She was, the one girl said, um, oh, I want to tell her Unicorn Store is my favorite movie and Captain Marvel is my favorite superhero. And uh, I want to gift her this bracelet I made her and I want to gift her something else. Um, and so... Uh, she was kind of accepting gifts. So I thought of writing that letter to her and, you know, handing it over to her. And then also uh, gift, well, I guess that would have been a gift to give her. Um, but again, I unfortunately didn't do that. But she was accepting it when I got into um, or behind the curtain she was at. It looked like she had on bracelets that fans had given her. So she was accepting that. Um, so when I got to to the curtain or in the curtain, um, there were stacks of photos uh, that were probably just a bit bigger than postcards. That um, Those were the ones that you can have her sign for free or you could bring your own item and have her sign it. I found this really great uh, fan art of Captain Marvel and Goose. And I uh, I had her sign that. I got it at the convention. Um, I'll post a picture of it here. Um, it was a beautiful piece. I'm so glad I found it. There were a lot of Captain Marvel uh, artwork, or there was a lot of Captain Marvel artwork at the convention. Um, so luckily I bought one and had her sign that. And yeah, I'm really glad I, I found that piece. But um, when I got up to her, I just, I was so nervous. <laughs> I said, hi, Brie, and she goes, hi, and um, the girl had handed her the, uh, how I, like, notes on how I wanted her autograph, and she goes, like, oh, are you Grant? And I said, yes, and and she signs it, and, um, and so I watched her sign it, and I was just, like, freaking out, because I was in the presence of Brie Larson, and I, it was, it was awesome, um, but I thought that doing the autograph first was a good warm-up. Uh, because then when I did the photo op, I wouldn't be as nervous. So if you could do both a photo op and, uh, and an autograph, I highly suggest it because use one of them as a warm up. Um, and then that, that's how the autograph went. I thought it went pretty well. Uh, I, you know, got to say hi to her and kind of introduce myself. And, um, I told her Captain Marvel is my favorite and everything. Um, and then... My photo op was about 40 minutes later. Um, the photo op had a big line. There had to have been 100 plus people in line for a photo op with her. 
Um, they also had Elizabeth Olsen and Amelia Clark doing photo ops as well. Um, and I think Andrew Garfield, but he may have been the next day. Because this was on Friday, and he may have been on Saturday. But anyways, there was... They had him, had everyone in this whole, like, little court lined up. Um, and so I was in line, um, and I was in... I, I just thought this was kind of a fun, cute story. But I was in line in front of this dad, and he had two daughters with him. And both of his daughters were dressed as uh, Scarlet Witch. And so one of his daughters had, like, hit one of the other... His other daughter. And so... Uh, you know, she did, the one daughter said like, you know, dad, she hit me. And, uh, and she, he said something very clever that was like, what did I tell you about casting physical spells? I told you you could only cast verbal spells and they had to be good, polite verbal spells. So I thought that, that was really clever. And I just wanted to share that because that was like clever parenting and like it, he used something that was relevant to what they were doing and the uh, girl, the character that the daughters were dressed up as, so I thought that was funny. So, I was in line, um, again, she was kind of behind a curtain, uh, they have you set your stuff down, and then go into, like, another little room, um, where they take your photo with her, and, um, it's very fast, you just, they'll call you up, and they're like, okay, smile, and that's it. Take a picture and you're out. You can say like hi to her and you know, hey, big fan, whatever. But that was about it. And that's what, um, that's why I'd been told before by the person who recommended doing the photo op. So I kind of knew that winning in, but if you didn't know that about stuff like this, then, um, there you go. You don't get a ton of time with her, um, but you do get a small amount. Um, so I was in line, I got through, um, my turn had come up and, um, I went in and did my photo and, uh, she put her arm around me and then, um, they just said smile and that was it. And it was a great photo and I'll post it here. Um, and she, I had walked off and she was like, you good? she said something like, it was good to see you. And so... I noticed that she was saying that to everyone who does, did the autograph and the photo op. So I was like really excited that she said that to me. Um, and then the, your photo is ready just like minutes after it's printed or minutes after it's taken. Um, you just walk around. There's like another little booth um, where they have your picture and it's it's a great picture too. It's a professional photo and everything, and you can even download it on your phone. Um, and it's a massive picture in terms of size, um, at least in terms of, of on your phone. Um, and then they did offer uh, $5 screen protectors for, or photo protectors for your picture. So I definitely recommend getting one of those because if you were traveling like I was, then you definitely need something like that. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it. That was my experience. Um, it was great. I would do kind of, excuse me, I do kind of regret uh, not writing her that letter because, you know, I could have handed it to her versus now I kind of want to write her that letter. Um, and, you know, I don't have the, I, I'm not able to know that she got it directly um, and now I, I'm taking a risk of sending it out into the world and not knowing whether or not she got it. Um, but I guess that's on me. Um, but anyways, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed If you had any questions about uh, the event or about uh, meet and greets type stuff like this, let me know. Please don't uh, be afraid to ask. Please ask away in the comments. Um, I haven't really done any videos lately. Um, I've been thinking of different type of videos to do. I started the year off working at Victoria's Secret, so I thought of maybe doing a video on something like that, telling my experience as a male working there, um, and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, 
Hope you enjoyed. Again, please feel free to ask any questions about the event, anything like that. And yeah, hope you enjoyed.